Jagger, and I'm a proud Detroit Public School System alumni. Went to Detroit Public Schools my whole life, graduated from Cass Tech 2004. And now, four years later, I'm back. Back in New Cass Technical High School, a building built for the 21st century. But yet, there's problems in the DPS system. Lack of funding, lack of extracurricular activities have been brought upon the students not being able to have the resources needed to succeed. Most important thing is, how do the students feel? Well, most of the students had the attitudes that most of the teachers had, like, you're not going to care about teaching, so why would we care about learning? So it was kind of like a, a battle between the students and the teachers. The, the DPS system, is it seems to unfortunately get worse every single year. Every year on the news you hear another six schools closing and a couple of thousand employees getting laid off every single year. So it seems like the system is only going downhill because the students are leaving. So they're taking that money that would have gone to the schools. They're taking that money with them and going to private schools or charter schools. And it's like a vicious cycle that just never ends. Why are the parents taking their children out of the system? Well, what made you make the decision to send your children to non-DPS school? Well, at the time that they were enrolling in school and a little bit later, once they got older, DPS just had a lot of problems. I mean, I know children and parents who were very disgruntled about the way that the schools were being kept. The children didn't have tissue in the bathrooms to use the bathrooms. They don't get books to do their working classes. And I felt that that would make my children be at more of a disadvantage when it came to graduation time and learning capability. I stayed right down the street from Redford High School and every other day it was something on the news about a student getting beat up or no principal or, and they were directly across the street from the 8th precinct and more violence was going on at that school than any other and the police station is right across the street. So I felt that it wasn't a good environment for my children to go to. Now the question on everybody's mind is, what can be done? What is being done? The district is trying to assist, I believe, the individual school system along with the state because the district has to do something different. Um, we understand, I, and I don't believe anybody is knocking um, the times that we're in. I, I, I do believe the district is attempting to help to manage that change, but I do think that they have to re-engage our community to understand the importance of urban and, well, suburban, but urban education. Many people have many different suggestions of what can be done. All I know is these are our children. And if it's truly no child is to be left behind, we have to do something.